In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to create this floor plan. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn to create 3D house using this floor plan. If you want to learn to create this floor plan, then link to complete playlist is given in the description. At first, we will save a copy of this floor plan. For that, click on save as. Then we will name it as 3D house 1 save then we want to convert walls into 3d to make all the other elements invisible except wall click here on isolate then click on any one line of the wall suppose i will click here and press enter so all the elements has been hidden only wall layer is on then we don't want this hatching so select it and delete it then we want these lines on window layer for that select these lines we can use window selection for quicker selection then click here and click on window and click on close then to switch to 3d environment click here and select 3d modeling then to view z axis click here on top and select SE isometric then create one layer for 3d walls take your cursor to layers click on layer properties and click on new layer and name it as 3d wall click outside and close this dialog box then take your cursor to layers click here and select 3d wall so 3d wall will become current layer then to convert these walls into 3d click here on press pull then take your cursor inside walls and click then click on multiple take your cursor on this other set of walls press enter take your cursor above and specify height of 3000 enter then to view in 3d look Click here on 2D wireframe and select shaded with edges. Then I don't want this color to change color. Take your cursor to layers, click on 3D walls and click on this box. And from here I will choose this color 31. Click on OK. Now here door openings are larger. We want door to be of 2100 height. That means we will have to close the upper portion by the distance of 900. Then to create the reference of 900 height, take your cursor to this arrow near extract edges, click on it and click on copy edges. Then zoom here, click on this line, then orbit it. For orbit you will have to press shift, press middle mouse button and drag the mouse. Then select this line, select this line. Now here it is not selecting that line because this is a different solid object and this is a different solid object. So for this line again we will give copy edges command. So here on this object only two lines can be selected. Press enter then specify base point, click here, take your cursor below and specify height of 900 enter again click on copy then select this line then same way this line and this line so all these three positions have doors then again press enter specify base point take your cursor below specify height of 900 enter then to come out of this command press enter twice so here all the reference lines has been created then to close this portion again click on press pull zoom here and select this portion zoom minus click on multiple and select all the other portions orbit it and one more here once all the portions has been selected, press enter, then give the direction, 
zoom to your last selection and specify direction as per last selection then our largest door size is 900 therefore here we will specify depth of 900 and press enter so here this door opening is closed okay actually largest size is 1000 therefore it is short by 100 here we can again press pull this portion click on press pull then select this face and click on this end point so it also got closed properly and press escape then these portions are separate to combine them click here on solid union then select both the objects and press enter now this has been converted into single object so our door openings are created then next is to create window openings for that click here and click on x-ray so it will become transparent then i don't want these grids so from here you can turn them off then to make window layer visible take your cursor to layers click here and click on this bulb so here window layer is turned on click outside then zoom here then we will have to create one rectangle here now during creation of rectangle we will be using dynamic UCS so here is the dynamic UCS now it is turn on for our procedures to work properly we will need to make it on and if in your case this dynamic UCS is not visible then you will have to click on this customization button here and from here you can turn it off and on then click outside and when it is on it is shown in blue color and if it is off then it is in black color so we want it to be on so click on it now here dynamic UCS is on then orbit it zoom it then click on rectangle now we want to create rectangle on this surface so at first you will have to take your cursor on this surface it will be highlighted in blue color then take your cursor below to this end point and take it above so it will track it again for this tracking to work you will have to keep this object snap tracking on then your object snaps also needs to be on then click on this arrow and i am using this object snap endpoint midpoint center quadrant intersection and extension click outside take your cursor on this surface take it below on this end point and take it up so it will track it then here we want seal height of 900 so specify here 900 enter then take your cursor to this point take it above and we want lintel height of 2100 so type here 2100 enter so here this rectangle is created then we want same window here and here so we will copy this window for copy type co enter then to select last object type l enter so it will select that rectangle then press enter then base point will be this intersection point click on it make ortho off click on this intersection point and this intersection point press enter same way we will create one rectangle on this face click on rectangle take your cursor on this face take your cursor below and take it above now here it is not tracking again we will take it below now when you take it below if the color of your surface changes to object color then it will not work in that case if you track it and create the rectangle it will create that rectangle horizontal but we don't want it horizontal so press escape press enter then take your cursor on this face take it below so when you are taking your cursor below you have to take it carefully and avoid taking it outside of this face then take your cursor above again we will take it here take it above then specify c light of 900 enter then take your cursor here then take it above and specify lintel light of 2100 enter then same is required here again copy co 
enter then l for last object selection then enter enter then this point will be this intersection point and second point will be this intersection point then press enter then one more need to be created here because this is a smaller window again rectangle take your cursor on this face take it below and take it above then 900 enter then track this end point take it above 2100 enter then these ventilators click on rectangle take your cursor on this face take it below and track it and specify here C light of 1350 enter then take your cursor to this end point take it above and specify 2100 enter then copy it cu enter then l enter then enter click on this end point and this end point and enter so here all the openings has been marked then to create this opening again click on press pull then click inside this rectangle click on multiple and click inside all the other rectangles then orbit it so all the rectangles has been selected press enter take your cursor inside so you have to decide as per your last selection so i want to cut into this wall therefore i am taking it inside then specify depth of 300 and enter so in this way door and window opening is created then here we want to create fancy sunset for that we will offset this rectangle click on offset then specify offset distance of 150 enter then click on this rectangle zoom there now it is not selecting this rectangle so what we will do press escape and click on 2d wireframe so it will be easier to select that rectangle now here it is selecting it so click on offset then 150 is already there press enter then take your cursor to this rectangle click take it outside and click and enter then we will have to move these both the rectangles outside if you press pull here that object will get merged with wall but we don't want to merge it therefore we will move it type m for move press enter then select this rectangle and this rectangle press enter specify base point here and take it outside and click then zoom it then to convert it into 3d click on press pull then click on this rectangle take your cursor inside specify depth of 300 enter then take your cursor inside this rectangle to create the hole you will have to click it inside and if you click on this rectangle it will not create hole so click inside this rectangle once it highlights with blue color click there take it inside and click so it will create opening press enter then click here and click on shaded with edges so it will be shown in 3d then i want white color for this double click on it click here and select white and press escape then we will place it on all the openings copy it type co for copy press enter select this object enter then click on this end point and click on this end point and click on this end point then press enter then i want same on these three windows for that we will rotate it click on 3d rotate select this object enter then click on this blue color then make ortho on take your cursor on this side and click and escape then copy this object type co enter select this object enter then specify this end point as a base point make ortho off and click on this end point enter again enter select this object enter then specify this point as a base point orbit it and click on this end point and this end point press enter then we need to create one more here 
again click here and click on to divide frame then offset you can also type O for offset enter 150 is there press enter select this line take it outside and click enter then move it type M enter select this object and this object press enter specify base point take it outside and click then press full select this rectangle take it inside specify depth of 150 enter click inside this rectangle take it inside and click and enter you click here click on shaded with edges then double click click here and click on white press escape then move it m enter select this object enter click on this end point and this end point then one more is required here click on rectangle take your cursor on this surface then click on this end point then take your cursor to this end point don't click there you will just mark it for tracking then take your cursor to this end point and locate this intersection point and click then again to the wireframe offset o enter enter select this object click outside enter then move m enter select both of them enter specify base point take it outside click press pull click on this rectangle take it inside specify depth of 150 enter then click inside this rectangle take your cursor inside and click enter click here share it with edges double click click here and white and escape then move it type m enter select this object enter then here we will have to select this end point as a base point and click here click on sc isometric then remove all the other objects type e enter and select other objects and press enter here height was required to be 300 again click on press pull click on the surface take it outside and specify a height of 150 enter escape i think this is also wrong press pull just adjust it click on the surface take it outside 150 enter Okay. then here we want to create portion like this for that click on press pull we want to break this surface click on this surface click on multiple then we want to break this surface same way this one this one so all the corner surfaces we are selecting this one and this one then press enter take your cursor outside and click so all the portions has been removed then we want to connect them for that again click on press pull then select the surface click on multiple and select these four surfaces once it gets highlighted then you will have to select it then it will not make any mistake again same way here highlighted click highlighted click so select all these faces orbit it select this face So all the faces has been selected you will have to zoom to last face then press enter then take your cursor on this side make object snap tracking off because of that it is jumping here and there then you want to give this depth up to this end point so click on this end point there are still gap so we will press pull it Click on press pull, 
then click on this face click on multiple select this face enter and click on this endpoint so those got connected same way on this side actually we need to remove this portion for that press pull and select this surface now here this complete face is getting selected but we don't want to select this complete face we want to select this portion only so to select this portion we will have to union these objects this escape click on union select this object this object and press enter then again press pull click on this surface click on multiple click on this surface then press enter take it inside and click so that portion is removed same way here press pull click on this face click on multiple click on this face enter and click on this endpoint enter click on this face click on multiple click on this face enter click on this endpoint then union them click on union select this object and this object press enter same way union them union select this object this object enter so here all this portion is created then i want to give different color to this surface again if i try to give color directly then this complete surface will be selected so to break this surface into individual surface we will imprint this solid object on it so it will break it for imprint click here and select imprint then select a solid i will select this solid object then select an object to imprint i want to imprint this object then delete source object no n is already there press enter same way i want to imprint this solid enter and this solid enter then this solid enter and enter then next is to apply color to this face click here and click on color faces then select this face this face orbit it this one this one and this inside face press enter then i want to apply here this color 32 okay escape click here click on sci isometric so here wall door and window openings and this special design is ready in the next tutorial we will create window doors and other details so thanks for watching we will stop here